All right, the easiest way to be able to find all the zeros of this polynomial by factoring is to use the grouping technique. What I'm gonna do is actually group the first three terms and group the last three terms. Now, go ahead and factor out what they have in common. Up here, that's going to be an x cubed. So if I factor on x cubed, I'm left with. And then over here, you can see that is exactly the same as that. So I just need to factor out a one. Okay, so now we need to look at these two terms and these two terms and say, what do they have in common? Well, again, they share a x squared plus two x plus one. So let's factor that out and rewrite over what's left over, which is an x cubed plus one. Okay, so now I can apply the zero product property. I can set this equal to zero. Hopefully you recognize that this is going to be what we call a binomial squared or a perfect square trinomial, which factors down to a binomial squared. And then this one's going to be an x cubed plus one is equal to zero. Well, the only way to factor this is going to be what we call a difference of two cubes. So we need to be able to factor this down a little bit further. Over here, I can find these zeros here is going to be x equals negative one, but that's gonna have a multiplicity of two because again, it's a repeated zero. Okay, so now by factoring this difference of two cubes over here, we know that x is going to x plus one is equal to zero, so x equals negative one. Ah, that's interesting. Now we have three x equals negative one. So now the multiplicity is three of them. Over here though, we have to go ahead and use the quadratic formula. And there you go, have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have two solutions over here and three of the zeros over here, which is all repeated multiplicity. That is how you find the zeros of a polynomial by factoring with six terms.